Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to explore little known facts about the great Sir Isaac Newton. And if it's your first time here with us, please consider subscribing and giving our video a thumbs up if you liked our content. Number 1. Isaac Newton and his father shared the same name. Newton was named after his father, who died just a few months before he was born. Number 2. Newton despised his stepfather. Shortly after Newton's birth, his mother remarried another man named Barnabas Smith. The couple had three children together, but Sir Isaac was never on good terms with his mother and stepfather. Number 3. Newton was bullied almost every day at school. He was sent to King's School for his earlier education in Grantham. He was a shy and quiet child, which is why his schoolmates used to bully him. One day, the situation went too far for him, and he kicked one of his bullies in the stomach. This just goes to show that bullying has always existed. Number 4. He invented calculus and discovered gravity during the bubonic plague of 1665. He was admitted to the University of Cambridge for four years on a scholarship. The university was closed for two years due to the plague, which turned out to be the most productive time of Newton's life. Number 5. Newton was a member of Parliament representing the University of Cambridge. Between 1689 and 1690, and again between 1701 and 1702. During these periods, Newton did not contribute much to Parliament. Apparently, he used to remain silent most of the time during parliamentary meetings. Number 6. Newton believed in observing more than reading. Although Isaac Newton was an avid reader and used to spend hours studying in his room, he believed that true discovery occurs and knowledge is constructed more through observation. There is an incident where he once tried to poke his eye with a needle to see what happened to his vision. Number 7. Newton was crazy about alchemy. He was fascinated by the idea of the Philosopher's Stone and performed several undocumented experiments to make one. He even has more writings about alchemy than science. Number 8. Newton was not really a great teacher. Despite his immense scientific achievements, Newton was not very interested in teaching and sharing his ideas or explaining his discoveries to other people. During his lectures at Cambridge, almost no one attended. Number 9. Newton never married or went out with anyone. Newton devoted his entire life to the love of science and the joy of discovery. Although he is said to have been engaged once, there is no exact documented evidence to support this claim. Number 10. Newton would never have published his works on gravity and motion if it weren't for Edmund Halley. One of his most accomplished contributions to the foundation of classical mechanics would have gathered dust in one of his rooms if Edmund Halley hadn't convinced him to publish those works. Newton was too reluctant in this regard. Number 11. Isaac Newton was born on Christmas Day in 1642 and was a premature baby. He was born so prematurely that doctors did not expect him to survive. Number 12. He came from a family of farmers. His mother had insisted he run the family farm at 17. Newton turned out to be a terrible farmer and luckily for the rest of the world, continued studying at Trinity College, Cambridge. Number 13. A large percentage of Newton's discoveries were made between the ages of 21 and 27. However, these discoveries were not made known to the world until several years later. Number 14. He became Lucasian Professor of Mathematics at the age of 26. The Lucasian Chair of Mathematics at Cambridge University is an honorary position founded by Henry Lucas. It is held by a Lucasian professor who is typically a highly esteemed mathematician. Number 15. 
Newton's greatest passion was the Bible, and he wrote less about science and mathematics and more about religion. He had calculated that the date of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ was April 3rd on the year 33 after death. Number 16. In 1668, Newton developed the Newtonian telescope, which was the first functional reflecting telescope. Number 17. During his one-year tenure as a member of parliament in 1689, the only words he spoke were directed towards a woman. He asked her to close a window to prevent a draft. And finally, number 18. Isaac Newton was appointed as the director of the Royal Mint in London in 1696 and was tasked with putting an end to counterfeiting. Well, that's all for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned or remembered a few fun facts about Sir Isaac. Thanks for watching and hopefully consider subscribing to our channel. We'll see you in the next one.